Yeah. Quite a low viewers. I'm down the range with the uh, Day State Airwolf and the Arkansas. Just about to uh, see practically how it works with the calibration. And start off close, work our way out. A couple of surprising targets when we get out there, further away, see how they go. So let's get on with the test. Okay then, starting in place. Our first target's probably about uh, seven yards. There we go, nice smack there. Okay then, uh, let's focus this one in. Fifteen yards. And we're going for that. So far so good. The next one. Will be the rat. Let's paint the target. I'll just come out of it. Lock one lock. So 30 yards. So seems to be working. I mean it's Pretty impressive to be honest. I mean somewhat somebody uh, said it's it's cheating using this kind of thing. Well maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but uh, the human factor is not as good as uh, computers. So if you if you're gonna be shooting uh, live quarry you want to be as accurate as you can. Okay then, so the next targets will be on the target frame up there. Uh, see how far that is. 40 yards. Just going to uh, come out of it, same again. Come back as 42 now. Right. Okay. Now I've uh, it was on five times. It's now on seven and a half. See if that makes a difference. It shouldn't do. Let me reset again. Forty-three, forty-two. Okay. There we go. So we have got some wind today. I've set the scope for zero wind because the wind changes. Uh, so I might have to do hold for wind. But we've gone from 15 yards up to 42. Not missed a beat really. Okay, so I'll come back in then. That one there. Just uh, focus. I think we're there. Right. All reset. Thirty-six. <sighs> so now we're going from thirty-six. What else have we got? Let's go for that. There we go. Reset. <clears throat> 
56 yards Okay. Okay, this one's the uh, surprise target of the day. The berm at around 70 yards. Let's see what damage we can do. Alright, so far as that. Sixty one. So, if I was going for the two, I'd spend a bit more and get the one with the uh, rangefinder on. Uh, let's zoom in a bit more now. Twelve and a half times. I think we're there. On the other side. Oh, it went to the left. Oh, no, never mind. Right, that's going to be the next target. There we go. Seventy two yards. Oh, quite a big drop, see that. Now it's all down to the speed of the pallet now, if it's the correct speed. Okay, at this point I won't go any further. I just I'd set up two exploding targets at 72 and 102 yards. They must have been damp. I hit the 72 yard target eight times and the 101 target twice without them exploding. I had zeroed the rifle at 19 yards a tone and everything from 7 yards to 56 yards were good hits without any problems. Once I got out to about 60 yards they did start to drop off. Now, whether that's because I'd zeroed it to only 19 yards, I don't know. I does recommend 50 zero at, but as we all know, British sub 12 foot pound rifles, that's more or less their limit. That's why the uh, kill target is only shoot out to about 55 yards. But uh, to ordinary uh, shooters at 55 yards, it's going to hit the target every time. What I will do, I will go back down the range. I'll make sure I zero it in at 50 and we'll see what other results we get. Like I say, once you get to out of the 60, the pellets were dropping off. So uh, that's something to look at in the future. Not a big problem. If you've got a firearm, you're not going to get that problem either. It could have been a slight variation in the pellet statistics or even the weather. Uh, can all make a difference but uh, I was really pleased with the results as soon as I ranged to target and I set it like I say out to 56 yards to hit the target every time so they uh, were well recommended it finally went off I didn't do it somebody else did that one was it four times On the fourth shot it went, somebody else did it for me. And that was it about eight times before it finally blew. And there we go, the berm. <laughs>